evening, uh, everyone. Uh, my name is Jay Prakash, uh, uh, Dr. Jay Chaladurai, and uh, I'm teaching <coughs> science uh, in Dokkhaven University. This is my uh, third year uh, uh, teaching here. And um, basically, I have not seen the students uh, who are graduating now and uh, because they have not taken my course. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and, uh, and I think I'm meeting you for the first time, most of the students here. <coughs> And uh, just um, I want to have a concluding remarks here. So first, I would like to thank our, uh, our president, uh, Dr. Uh, Donaldson, uh, and uh, um, uh, and the deans of the various uh, various schools, and Bree uh, Reynolds, uh, uh, president's health commission, and uh, and all members of the subcommittee uh, and allies. And as well as students who are graduating, as well as the guests who are uh, coming to this event today, I'd like to thank everyone, and I'd like to thank the Office of the President, GSH and the GEL for generously supporting the program events, honorary of gifts, refreshments, and dedicated bouquet of LGBT issues on campus. Okay, and uh, thank you, everyone. And uh, I'd like to thank uh, Kelsey for uh, getting the President's award. Uh, and uh, I saw your work, it was very good work, and I hope that you will continue with this work. Um, in, and uh, also Alyssa as well, so um, I think I know Alyssa for the past one year, and she worked a lot for this uh, GSA especially. And, uh, and uh, Patrick, and uh, Kat, and Gabriel Quader, and Alyssa, uh, uh, for I mean, congratulations uh, very much for uh, you know for your degree. Your degree is more valuable because, um, as a as the president uh, remarks, she said that you know it is the altitude of confidence. You know, when you look back, you see that how much you have achieved so far. Um, I would say from my experience while doing PhD, it was a very rough time. So I did my PhD for six years at the University of Calgary. So it was very, very stressful time. I was not sure whether I'll get my PhD or not because we had to go and defend, you know, a lot of, lot of hurdles were there. Emotionally, I was, I was having sleepless nights, like uh, many nights, we just sleepless nights, so I got uh, this under uh, eye uh, dark circles and the stuff, you know. So it was like terrible, you know. When I look, I was like thinking that, you know, I should uh, drop my PhD and better go and find some job, you know. But I'm so interested in teaching that I wanna uh, somehow get my degree. So, uh, like that was a stressful time, you know. The six years was like maybe for me like sixty years of my life. <laughs> so after I graduated, you know, I was so happy. I graduated, then that the, this next stress came is yes, for looking for a job. And looking for a job is like looking for a job itself is a job. <laughs> so you keep applying for jobs. You know, keep applying, keep applying, keep applying. Of course, I have got so many interviews, like 10 or 10 to 12, you know, I, it was the first time, like, I mean, I couldn't, I was a student, and they booked nice luxury hotel for me, you know, whenever I came here. Here, when I came for the interview, I was staying in a VAP house. So, uh, I joined Lockheaven University because it was the first one who offered me job. It's not like, okay, I got, I was choosy. It was the first time, okay. <laughs> <laughs> so, this is how I entered the job, yeah. Initially, I was thinking, okay, you know, this place is small, you know. But as I mingled with the students and you know the courses, I love teaching and students, you know, like the way I teach and you know, and uh, and uh, I started to like this place pretty much. And um, and last year I joined this um, LGBT committee. Uh, 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 I'm the treasurer of the committee, and I enjoy doing the work. And uh, it's very important to. Uh, like a lot of people don't understand the issues of uh, sexuality and sexuality is very fluid and as uh, uh, Alyssa made her remark saying that people are ignorant due to lack of knowledge so please do educate them and at, at, I mean if they don't understand you that's fine but uh, you please educate them and there's one funny remark I, I was just uh, uh, before the speech I was not preparing for the speech or anything like that I just came here and uh, uh, I'm very honest, okay? Many people were saying that, you know, I didn't prepare for the speech. You know, I, to hide it, but I was like clearing myself out all the assignments today from morning to evening. And, and so there was like one time when Iran president, Mohammed Ahmed, I don't know his full name, okay? Um, he came to US 
and in Columbia University, he gave a talk. Uh, in 2017, in Columbia University, he gave a talk. In Iran, we don't have homosexuals like in your country, okay? <laughs> so you can understand how people are ignorant, you know, born in a country like Iran, okay? And <coughs> I mean, people should be happy that, you know, uh, they are like, here you have all the LGBT rights in this country. So people should be happy, proud of their rights, you know? And as I was doing research for this talk, I found that Netherlands was the first country for allowing the same-sex marriage in 2001, followed by Belgium in 2003, and Canada in 2003 again, I guess, 2003 or five. Okay, Canada. So Canada was the third country to accept the same-sex marriage. So uh, it's very important that, you know, uh, make use of the freedom. Because a lot of countries, uh, you know, as the Iranian prime president, he quoted, you know, there are no gays in Iran, whatever, you know. Um, <laughs> I mean, this is like he makes a, a statement on the behalf of the whole country people, you know. And uh, you mean you should be. Uh, I mean, there are many many countries, you know. I, mean, I know in Singapore, I have several countries in Malaysia. Although there are no legal rights, of course there are like uh, uh, gay uh, pubs and other stuff. But there's legal, no legal rights to marry. And why the rights are important for gays is that because you know people can harass you, you know, because it's under. under law they can punish you like most of the Middle East countries it happens like that so uh, generally one should be very lucky we should be very lucky that we are in a country which is accepting whatever we are and uh, uh, when I was studying when I was studying doing my PhD in Canada so there was one uh, once uh, one friend of my friend actually close friend and uh, this is the actually uh, he was converting uh, himself to uh, be a female and he converted the gender to a female and later ended up in a uh, lesbian relationship with a girl okay so it can be as fluid as it is you know it is not a fixed of uh, fixed uh, identity or anything so there is uh, so so this is very important you know so we should be happy and we should be proud that we have achieved so far I know I'm a professor here I give tough assignments to the students and a lot of students, you know, uh, are, get angry on me during the last, uh, I mean, during the semester, end of semester, because I give less grades, they want to improve their grades, you know, I give more work. I know, I understand, students are working in different jobs and they are, they are taking different courses, but at the end, you earn the degrees, okay, you earn the degree by working hard, and that degree should be useful, and you have climbed to this attitude, you should be, be very proud of yourself, you know, and being uh, like um, uh, having other issue, uh, not I uh, mean others. Uh, I, don't say, I, can't, I cannot call it the issue, but uh, having like uh, identifying, coming out, uh, gay, uh, bisexual, all this uh, uh, society issues and other stuff. You know, uh, all these problems. If you're able to succeed, you know, you are uh, more worth. And I always say uh, to my gay friends or you know other friends, you know. You are born because you are strong, okay? You are born as a gay or a lesbian or whatever. So you are born like this because you oh, God thought that you are a very strong person, okay? Strong will person. I find that uh, all these uh, LGBTQ, and there is of course there are uh, people who are asexuals as well. So they are very strong person, mentally very strong person, and they can succeed in the life. And I wish you all success. And thank you very much for com coming to the event. And it was a great pleasure to meet, meet you. And, uh, and any more, I don't know, and the food was very good, great. <laughs>